Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to block number three for the Building Blocks Quilt Pattern. Today we're going to be piecing a rail fence block, and the thing I love the most about this particular block is everything is strips. They're all long strips. Uh, you don't have to match any seams, and this is going to be really great if you're struggling to match those seams and get those uh, lines to match up just exactly right, if you're just really struggling with that, don't worry about it. This block, you don't have to worry about a single bit. So what you want to do is go in ahead and uh, cut your strips. You can refer to the instructions in the Building Blocks Quilt Pattern, which you can find at leahday.com. If you haven't picked up a copy yet, go on ahead, order it today, get it downloaded, get it printed out, so that you can catch up with us as we make these blocks this year. So. Uh, we're going to get started, and here is the layout of the blocks, and you can see we're going to um, use some letters this month to kind of keep track of what we're working on. We have A, B, C, and D pieces, and you want to make sure that those wider pieces end up on the outside edges because that's going to give us that extra uh, one inch on those two sides so that way we don't have to quilt right to the edges of our block. So now I'm gonna take uh, piece A and piece B, and I'm just gonna hold these right sides together and aligning that edge. Just making sure that edge is perfectly in alignment. Lift up my presser foot just a bit and start piecing. And this is a little bit of a longer seam than we've worked with so far. Uh, the one thing to kind of keep in mind is that you know these two pieces can get off a little bit. So what I like to do is just kind of lift up the top one and place it and just constantly be kind of lifting it up and placing it, making sure that these two edges stay just perfectly right on top of each other. Now, is it the end of the world if they get off a little bit? No, this is just a rail fence block, so it's not going to make or break anything if this gets off of it. It's just one of those things. It's nice to be in a good habit of piecing and keeping these edges together so that way it works out well for all of our blocks. Okay, so send it through. So repeat that step, lining up the two pieces together and stitching them with an accurate quarter of an inch seam allowance for the C and D piece of our rail fence block. Now we're going to connect these two pieced units together. And this is the point where you really want to kind of make sure that your wider strip is on this outer edge and it's Know, on both sides so that we are piecing the narrower strip on both units together. We want to make sure those narrower strips are to the middle. And it's really not hard to keep this, you know, keep track of this. If you need to, you can of course label your pieces with a bit of tape. Something like that would work fine. It's entirely up to you. Uh, one other thing to note, you do not have to press the seam allowance open because we're not crossing the seam allowance as we piece this together. After the entire block is finished, that's when I'll take it to my iron and press all three seams open at the same time. It's gonna save you a little bit of time. You don't have to be popping up and down from your machine in order to press those seam allowances open. So we're just gonna piece on down and notice that I don't pin this because there's nothing to match, so there's really no need to put pins in it. So just piece on down and your block will be finished. So that's it for our rail fence block. I really hope that you will join me in piecing this and make four of these blocks. We're going to learn four different quilting designs, so make sure that you cut your pieces, get them pieced together, and meet me here on the following weeks so that way we can learn how to quilt this block in multiple ways. We're going to learn some really cool quilting techniques as we go. So my name is Leah Day and this has been a video about the Building Blocks quilt pattern. Find this pattern at leahday.com. Until next time, let's go quilt!